St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from Ms. Ann Dager from Munster, Saskatchewan. This Mass is offered for her deceased relatives and friends, for the spiritual and physical well-being of our Holy Father, Pope Benedict XVI, and for peace among nations. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada gathered for this celebration, we thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. My friends, we gather today for this celebration of the Eucharist. As we begin, let us call to mind our sins, and let us ask God for his pardon and his peace. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God, our Father and Protector, without you nothing is holy, nothing has value. Guide us to everlasting life by helping us to use wisely the blessings you have given to the world. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. King Solomon assembled before him in Jerusalem the elders of Israel and all the heads of the tribes, the leaders of the ancestral houses of the Israelites, to bring up the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord out of the city of David, which is Zion. All the people of Israel assembled with King Solomon at the festival in the month Ethanim, which is the seventh month. And all the elders of Israel came, and the priests carried the ark. So they brought up the ark of the Lord, the tent of meeting, and all the holy vessels that were in the tent. The priests and the Levites brought them up. King Solomon and all the congregation of Israel, who had assembled before him, were with him before the ark sacrificing so many sheep and oxen that they could not be counted or numbered. Then the priest brought the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord to its place in the inner sanctuary of the house, in the most holy place, underneath the wings of the cherubim. For the cherubim spread out their wings over the place of the Ark, so that the cherubim made a covering above the ark and its poles. There was nothing in the ark except the two tablets of stone that Moses had placed there at Horeb, where the Lord made a covenant with the Israelites when they came out of the land of Egypt. And when the priests came out of the holy place, a cloud filled the house of the Lord so that the priests could not stand to minister because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled the house of the Lord. Then Solomon said, the Lord has said that he would dwell in thick darkness. I have built you an exalted house, a place for you to dwell in forever. The word of the Lord. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Lord, go. to the mighty one of Jacob. 
I will not give sleep to my eyes until I find a place for the Lord. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. We heard of the ark in Ephrathah. We found it in the fields of Jar. Rise up, O Lord, and go to your resting place, you and the ark of your might. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness and let your faithful shout for joy. For your servant David's sake, do not turn away the face of your anointed one. Lord, go up to the place of your Preach the good news of the kingdom and healed all who were sick. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and the disciples crossed over the lake and came to the land at Genereset and moored the boat. When they got out of the boat, people at once recognized him and rushed about that whole region and began to bring the sick on mats to wherever they heard Jesus was. And wherever he went, into villages or cities or farms, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they may touch even the fringe of his cloak. And all who touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. 